everybody, it's Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my July hits or misses. Um, I was going to do my July favorites and I there's a couple of things I'm not too happy with that I discovered in July. So I decided we'll just do hits and misses and I'm going to start with the worst and we'll end with the best. And I do have to say I have a lot more good things than I have bad things. The first thing I'm going to start with is birch box. Um, I was not happy with my birch box this month. Uh, I've kind of been getting, you know, a little where I've not been too pleased with what I've been receiving. I have checked my profile. I made sure everything was okay in there because this month I got a cleanser for oily skin and I don't have oily skin. So that kind of... and. I've been watching more people's videos of their unboxings and they're getting products that I got a few months ago or you know back when I started getting Birchbox. I've been getting Birchbox almost a year. Almost a year now. And uh, I'm beginning to think what do they have just like stockpiles of different samples and you know they go around this month we'll get her this one and we'll grab this one and we'll grab this one. Is that how it is? I mean do they just have all the same samples and just rotate who gets what? Um, now, be mad at me if you want to. This is my opinion. This is just how I feel. If you love Birchbox, that's great. And I would have felt the same way back when I first started getting Birchbox because everything was new to me. But now I see so many duplicates and I'm not liking now what I'm receiving. So this is just my opinion. I was going to give Birchbox this month, see what I got this month to make up my mind. I realized I had a 108 points built up in Birchbox from when I did reviews of products and I had purchased some products from Birchbox in the past. So I had some points built up. So I'm like, okay, I need to use that 108 points. So I went on there and um, one of the things they have, which I have purchased twice before, was the specialty surprise box a box of samples ten dollars is how much it is or if you purchase thirty five dollars or more you get the box for free i have purchased just the boxes before and they have been past curated boxes boxes that they had specially made up you know that you could choose if you wanted that or just let them send you samples so i was like okay um I want to get another one of those. So granted, you know, 108 points equals $10.80. I did get this box for free and I got 80 cents off the shipping. So technically I just paid $4.19 to ship me, I'm going to hide my address, to ship me this box, which I got in the mail. and. I opened it up and this is what I got. I got two samples. This was what I paid. Technically I did not pay cash but my re points is like currency. It's like money. A coupon is like money. It's like free money. Um, so yeah I got a makeup remover wipe and I got a cream and I have never heard of either one of these um, brands so ten dollars no so this made up my mind for me as soon as I get the notification that my birch box has shipped I'm gonna go right in there and cancel and I'm not going to replace it with another box. I have decided um, I'm just going to stick with my Ipsy. I have loved my Ipsy since the moment I got it. Uh, I have never been dis... Well, you know, there's some things every now and then you're, you're not really happy with. But for the most part, I've always loved my Ipsy bags. I love my Sephora Play. And I'll continue to get my Walmart box four times a year for every season. Uh, I like it that with the Target box... Um, I buy it if it interests me, but lately it's not been interesting me, so I haven't been buying them, except I got one this past month, but 
I looked at the new one. I think it was released the other day. I looked at it. It didn't interest me. So, there you go. My biggest disappointment was Birchbox. So, I'm, I'm just going to cancel. And I don't know if I'll sign back up. Probably not. But I might sign up later for a different box. But I think for a while, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna cool it. My next product, and I've been giving this, I've been wearing it every, every. I won't say every day, I don't put makeup on every day, but every time I've worn my makeup. This is, I've worn it off, the, the writing. It's a NYX HD concealer, and I got the light pale color. Uh, my lid's already broken, just the outer part has broken off. If you push real hard and twist, it comes up. And this is it. It matches my skin better than any other uh, any other concealer I have used so far. You know, I mean, it's nice. See? The problem is it wants to crease under my eyes. Let me see if I can get a little closer. I don't know if you can tell. It shows all of my lines and it creases so bad in here. It just, I mean, I just put it on. I just put it on and look how bad. It creases. I've used, I'm down to here. So I've given it a good shot. I'll use it up. But um, the last concealer I used was the Maybelline Fit Me, and I liked it. Uh, but I am really looking for that perfect concealer. So if any of you know of that perfect concealer that's for an older skin, I need to, I don't have puffiness. I have really bad dark circles though. I can, I'm having a hard time covering them up. So I have dark circles and I have the kind of crepey skin underneath which I am trying to take care of with other skincare products, but I do have it. So if anybody knows of a great concealer that um, won't crease, it'll cover and make, you know, Hopefully my lines not show so bad. Please let me know what you're using, cause, and I don't care the price. You know, I don't want to pay a hundred dollars for a concealer, but I don't mind paying a little bit more for a really good concealer. So, now that takes care of the bad products. Everything else has been great for this month. My next product is a ColourPop shadow. It's in Girly, and I am loving this. It's not what I would consider a, um, it's not a shiny metallic, it's a really, it's just a shimmer, shimmer shadow, a great base color. I actually have it on my lids right now, and I think it's just beautiful. It just gives you a shimmer uh, without being, you know, like chunky glitter, and it's, it feels like silk. It just feels like silk. See that shine? You could even use that, I bet, as a highlighter if you really wanted to. That's it. I just love it. Girly. This is Girly from ColourPop. So, yeah. Great, great product. Next is my foundation. I got a sample of this at Sephora in April when I actually went to the store. And she matched me up for my summer color. It looks dark, doesn't it? It's what I'm wearing. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. The color is 160, and on uh, the Sephora website, 160 is called Golden Beige. And I'm going to put a little on my hand for you. I just put a dot. Do you see how? See? That's my color. It's perfect. Just blends right in. That's what I have all over my face. And I am loving this color. I am loving this foundation. I can't tell where I'm at, but I think this will last me through the summer. I know summer's officially, you know, like kids are going back to school, but for me, my summer will end probably like in September or something. We're going out to the lake in September, and I'll still be getting sun, so this, this will last me a while longer. So, very happy with that. The next product I went crazy about, it was in my Sephora Play Box, and this it's called Way, and it's a wave spray. And this stuff is awesome. And this is going to last me a while. I, I will, will not have to purchase this for a while. Um, 
you're talking about making curls. This gives me curls, not just that beachy kind of wavy. I, it gives me curls. So I love this stuff way. Next, I also got in a box, not in a, um, I, I got it in a something I bought from Sephora. It was a sun kit that had all kinds of different sun products in it, but they were the smaller sizes. And this is the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan in Shower. And I've almost used this up. I've got a couple more, couple more tans in there. Um, this is great. If I didn't have almost a full container of the Saint Tropez the kind I put on with the mitt, the, the mousse with the mitt, um, I would buy this. I might buy this next year. Uh, after you take your shower, uh, while you're still wet, stand in the shower, put this on, wash your hands, you know, turn the water off, and stand for about two to three minutes. I kind of dance around a little bit and sing a little song in my head, thinking, you know, most songs are about three minutes long, so I'll sing a song, do 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 do, and then just kind of rinse it off and I love it it says to be careful um, about the the floor of the of the shower but I have had absolutely no problems I'm a stickler for that and it doesn't it doesn't mess up the floor of my shower at all uh, so yeah next I got this either in a Target or a Walmart box I don't know which one but it's Garnier skin active uh, clearly brighter, uh, brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer with an SPF of 15. And it's oil free, antioxidant complex, vitamin C and LHA. I wasn't expecting anything out of this. I thought, oh, well, yeah, it's a little moisturizer. This is a nice, lightweight lotion moisturizer. Um, it does have a scent of sunscreen. It goes away quickly, but when you when you smell it, you do you smell sunscreen. You do. But what got me is I've had a little discoloration right in here. Just just a little, not enough to really bother me. And this th just this is fading that. And I'm like, "Wow. This is good." I am really liking this. It's a nice size sample. I don't use a whole lot because I use it only during the day. I like a lighter weight moisturizer during the day in the summer and then a heavier one at night. Um, so I just use a little bit of this during the day and this is going to probably last me for quite a while through, you know, for, I don't know, maybe another month or two, maybe through the summer. Um, and it's great. And I love how it's making that little patch just kind of, it's just fading away. There's not much left to it. And I think it's this. I think this is doing it. So, pretty good. Now, the last thing. This is my wow for the month of July. And that's the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It. I love this stuff. I got a sample. I still have a little bit left because I don't use but maybe a dime size and work it into my hair. I especially work it onto the the ends of my hair. Uh, I hate my hair. If I like to let it air dry. I don't blow dry unless I absolutely have to. I don't like to put heat on my hair because I do, you know, uh, color my hair and I don't want to damage it anymore. So I just worked it mainly into the ends. And the it when my hair dries, it's not frizzy, and I'm like, wow, this stuff this stuff is great. I just purchased this, so I can tell you it's thirty one dollars for this front at Sephora, but this is amazing, and I will continue to buy this from now on. So there you go. That's my hits and misses for the month of July. Um, I'm really disappointed in Birchbox, but. It's time we part ways. Um, and I did want to like this NYX concealer, but I've heard about so many other concealers, but I'd like to know if you'd leave a comment below, if you have that Holy Grail concealer that you absolutely love and tell me, you know, in the comments why you love it and why you think I would love it. 
and because I am looking I'm looking for another one I can go back to my fit me if I need to but I am I'm trying to find something else now the color was great on this I'm sorry I hate it I don't have any spots or anything to cover up I just need to focus under my eyes so yeah this one I'll use it up not much left about down to there so, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you haven't heard, I'm part of a group called the Middle Age Beauties. Uh, we're a group of 12 ladies who are, um, we, we just, we're all over the age of 40. I think some are a little younger. I think we've kind of tweaked it a little, but we're all middle-aged. We all make videos here on YouTube, and we have a group, and each month one of us is doing a giveaway. And this month, it's still going on. I believe it ends the 19th. I believe it ends the 19th of uh, August. The giveaway is on Glamour Gossip with Angel's channel. I'll link it below. You go over there and watch her video and you can learn about the giveaway and about the group. This month's giveaway is a $50 gift card to Ulta. So to in order to win, all you have to do is subscribe to each one of us ladies and to leave a comment on one of our videos. Now I have a second giveaway that is separate. I am working towards getting 500 subscribers. So I have a little basket back here. And each time I shop um, or I make an order with Sephora or Ulta, I'm going to buy you a little something too and put it in the basket. Now, all you have to do to win that basket is be a subscriber to my channel. When, once I hit 500 subscribers, I will randomly choose a name and that person will win the contents of the basket. So, that's a couple giveaways that's going on if you're interested. I'll leave uh, information below. So again, thanks for watching and until next time.